Hi everyone, this is Atul Kumar and you are watching Extreme. and today we are going to create tiny elements of UI design such as tooltips, tags, badges, discount labels and other things, right? So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we are going to talk about tooltips, a small contextual pop-ups that appear when a user hovers or interacts with a UI element, providing additional information or guidance. Now there are two types, one which appears on its own and remains there till the time you take certain action, such as either you close it or click on the entry point or on hover where tooltip will appear while hovering and then hides when you move your cursor out of the element. Okay, now let's talk about tags. Now tags are small, often clickable labels used to categorize or identify items in a system. You can find it in many places in different UI element or in different UI format. And we generally use it on our social media sites or wherever we are posting anything. Now badges, badges are visual indicators, often small circles or rectangles that highlights important statuses or counts. We find our badges in these kind of formats, such as whether you get a notification on WhatsApp, you get the numbered on the right, or let's say in this case over here, it's a card which has two items. And then here, let's say someone named Rick and Morty is online. So we show a badge in green or, or whatever color we choose. And then in rewards, we can have like this item has rewards or something like that. And also with orders and bookings, we have a pending badge or a new badge, right? So these are badges. There is a discount label, again, a visually distinct label that highlights promotional pricing or discounts on a product uh, such as this one. And uh, then we have a discount code element. This is a code and you have a segregation over here, right? And uh, this is quite easy to make. So we'll also be creating all these elements in a while. Now, this is something I find it really fascinating. And uh, this is a close button with a blob. And uh, it is generally used to close a popover modal or exit a full screen mode. And then there is a bookmark. Now let's talk about this bookmark. Actually, it is more of a bookmark label. It allows user to see that this particular thing belongs to something or has been saved to read it further or again, and often represented by an icon like a ribbon or a star. Now moving on, we have different types of labels as well, such as ribbon labels and uh, corner labels and uh, they are a visually distinct element that highlights and draw attention to the key attributes or statuses of the item. Say in this case, this card belongs to UX design or highlights a UX design and uh, let's say here we can have in form of a ribbon over here and again another version of ribbon. Now these are corner labels and they can be in various formats. This is this one or this one over here, over here, different positions and different formats. And they are used for different purposes, right? One for our discounting purpose, one for attaching something to it, or let's say just writing a type of card or where it belongs to something like that. Right. So yeah, these are the tiniest elements in our UI design, but they have really good usage. Okay. So let's create them inside Figma without importing from somewhere else and we'll make them responsive. All right, so let's get into it. So we'll make one by one and uh, let's start with our tooltip, right? And uh, tag is very easy and then badges. Okay, so I'm going to create a tooltip over here to do that. Let's grab a rectangle and grab a text and let's just write tooltip black text white small to 16 pixels put it in auto layout and top margin 4 left and right margin of 12 and let's make them respond and make corner round keep it 4 now i want to attach a triangle on the top Now your tooltip is ready and you can write anything. We can manually change it, but it's not the optimal way. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put all of them in auto layout, respond like this. Oops, this into hug content and now it's responding. All right, let me just quickly grab one element from here. So let's say I'm grabbing this one on hover opening a tooltip but if let's say i am working on a file and i don't want to respond in this way so what i'm going to do i'm going to change its constraint from left and top to center and top it will move in both directions now let's create a copy create a left aligned one so what we can do we can put it in a group auto layout uh, left and right margins put this into full container I can shift this left or right or in center and it will look good I'm going to make it left constraint it will move in right direction and similarly you can do it for right hand side and make it respond to the left by keeping the constraints on the right let's create tags grab a rectangle grab a text tool write a text we put it in auto layout and we define its margins put them in a content corner radius 24 again these are now tags and they will respond now moving on let's create our third element badges now badges are very simple in fact anyone can make so let's say i copied this placing a badge over here so i can make it something with a text and your badge is ready now you can give it whatever color you want you can make it responsive it's pretty simple no big deal group and auto layout it's responding now let's create discount label over here now this zigzag pattern is something you should learn over here and to do that click over here get the height what i want and press shift and again press shift so that we get a 90 degree angle and we'll match these lines to get our desired result and we can make it as long as we want and at last i'm going to just match the line and done this is something which i can put anywhere i can write 100 percent and if i want to give it a corner um, i'll go into its isolated mode and increase its corner radius now let's create this one it is quite easy we have to just grab a text grab a rectangle give it a corner radius add a stroke change this stroke style to dash and dash length 8 pixels gap 8 pixels I can change its look and feel and in middle I can write anything XYZ 560 and we can group them and we can put them in auto layout. Now let's create this blob. So I'm going to click and drag over here, click and drag, click and drag close the loop press options on mac so our blob is ready i'm going to fill it black color or little dark gray and let's just create a cross let's make it 20 okay so that's your blob and uh, we can even work on it further and make it better so let's move on to next element that is our bookmark creating a bookmark is quite easy and we start from top and our bookmark is ready and we can write something over here do you think we need to make it responsive okay sure but in terms of height only we can't make it responsive in terms of width and we are going to put another rectangle over here we are going to put it in auto layout so that way it is good and it will not distort that's our bookmark now let's create other elements over here and to do that i'm just grabbing one card from here and create our ribbon labels as well let's create 
click over here put shift to get a 45 degree angle by pressing shift again we'll create another anchor over here and done and then we are going to just write something over here let's make it 16 Alright guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you liked it and learned that how to create very small elements inside Figma, not to bring from somewhere else. And uh, it's just that how you are imagining your labels and uh, other elements and you can do it purely inside Figma. So that's all for this video guys. Please like, share and subscribe. My next video is going to be about animation inside Figma. Therefore stay tuned and uh, keep watching your stream. Till then. Bye-bye. Take care.